Welcome everybody. Thank you all for your flexibility today with changes of plans last minute. And, but we are finally here. And so as we think about marriage today, we, we know that marriage is intended to be a grand adventure. It's a divine partnership between two people seeking God together. I know that's y'all's desire to seek God together. And it's supposed to be an exciting and challenging time, an expression of endless love. It's to be a living example of Christ's union with the church. And so Paul, he sets the stage in chapter 5 of Ephesians, and he says, Be imitators of God, therefore as dearly loved children, and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. We were just, sorry, I'm already in this right now. <laughs> no, we were just stunning. Father, thank you for today and um, just for tears of joy on so many faces and also the rain outside and just your favor and smiling today on this, this beautiful thing. And so we ask that you would be near. We ask that your spirit would be present. Sadian. You are patient and loving. You are constant and kind. The Lord brought you into my life when I was at my lowest point mentally. And you have changed parts of me I didn't know could grow. Um, today we start a great adventure as one heart, one family, on a mission to further God's kingdom through loving one another and loving others. Rebecca my wife to be. Today is the day. It's the first day of the rest of our lives as husband and wife. And the last day of our lives wanting to be husband and wife. <laughs> I have often thought about this day in the past and what came to mind then and comes to mind now is Proverbs chapter 31 verses 10 through 12. It reads, an excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack no lack of gain. Today, our wedding day, testifies to the excellence the Lord has allowed me to find in you. You are far more precious than any jewel, absolutely stunning both inside and out. You are kind, loving, selfless, intentional, funny, intelligent, wholehearted, and sincere. Savia and Rebecca, because of the vows that you have made to each other and to the Lord in presence of all these witnesses, and because of the authority committed me as a minister of the gospel, and according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, and most importantly, because what God has joined together, I'm not going to let anybody separate. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Savian, you may kiss your bride.
vintage rookie card with the stats on the back. Signed. Xavier Mitchell signed, signed rookie card stats on the back.